Welcome to the Module 4 shout-out video, our second second one of these, uh, featuring some highlights from some of your work for Section 2. Um, can't believe we're at the second one of these. I'm super excited. I hope you liked the first one. Uh, I think it's going to be interesting to see how last, last week's background of the researcher is transitioning into this week's um, highlighted literature, and then next week we'll again translate into methodology and then data analysis. So, uh, section two, far simpler, invisible structure, but that doesn't mean that it's um, ever simple to write about the literature, right? So I thought I would share some highlights from some of your narratives that I hope shine light on interesting topics, um, interesting literature about interesting topics, right? Which I feel is certainly a good thing, but more importantly, I felt these were examples of how that foundational literature supports the study to follow. In some cases, it's, it, it establishes a very uh, strong working definition and concept for the study. Um, sometimes it, it's infused with the tone that maintains that, um, that, that um, relevance and urgency of the topic. Um, so I think you'll see that in these examples. Um, I worry enough about getting names of students pronouncing them wrong and now here I am with all there's a lot of um, names of authors in your passages that I'm citing here so we'll see how this goes uh, so Duncan Brown section 2 emerges from a topic of vocabulary inter intervention and its potential to address adult illiteracy as well as struggling younger readers um, this offered a glimpse of the literature, not only addressing the topic right, but further supported that, that urgency um, you'll see that um, the final punch and the final, the final fragment of the last sentence of this example. Um, Maruis and Newman, 2010, wrote an article on vocabulary intervention on pre-K and kindergarten students. They acknowledged that a reader's socioeconomic background can have an impact from their childhood into adulthood. Braze, Tabor, Skankweiler, and Menzel, 2007, talk about the levels of reading in young adults and how comprehension depends on high-quality lexical representations and leads to the prediction that vocabulary knowledge should play an important role in accounting for differences in reading comprehension, page 237. One of the ways to help break the cycle. Brown, 2019, page 2. Um, and you know, that not only was that great, great synthesis right there of the literature, right, well cited, but one of the ways to help break the cycle. The, the cycle. Set off with that dash. It's got a punch right there, right? Um, and it, it just... It just keeps, it keeps hitting at you with with the um, the relevance and urgency of that topic, right? So, um, great great to see. Um, Melissa Clinton Kirkpatrick offers a great example while unpacking read alouds, one of my favorite approaches to comprehension and fluency. A focused, tight narrative weaves together um, multiple sources, um, and the ultimate result very handy, very well synthesized concept that will clearly inform. Um, uh, one's understanding study. All right, she says, teachers who reported their reasons for including read-alouds to their instructional practice as being a way to model skill, make content easier to understand, and to teach reading comprehension skills. Albright, 2002, page 192. Metacognition, understanding how one thinks, is the foundation for reading comprehension strategies. So Sapova and Kazbekova, 2016, teachers are able to facilitate this skill through reading fiction and nonfiction tes texts. Zero twenty twelve. Teachers able to plan purposeful dialogue encounters and model their own thinking and how it can change based on the thoughts of others sharing improved student achievement. Classroom improvements where discourse is engaging, persistent, and collaborative shows positive gains in student achievement. Johnson, Ivy, and Faulkner, 2011, page 34. I like that, by the way, because classroom discourse. Oh, I love classroom discourse. Uh, <clears throat> continuing. Interactive read-alouds is a teaching strategy where teacher and students discuss their understanding of the material and respond to literature. Malik and Battelle, 2010. And again, that is from Klein Kirkpatrick, 2019, page 2. Um, great to see. And um, our, third, our third example uh, from Tabitha Tucker's topic, the use of music to aid and enhance the efficiency during transition time, to, to reduce transition time, right? It's a really intriguing topic um, for an action research study. Um, I think it's kind of fascinating that you actually have kids in motion, in action, right? So I don't, I don't, I don't know if there's, there's something there, but um, um, 
fascinating topic, right? Because with 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 those younger with those younger kiddos, right? Especially take it all the way down to pre K. Every minute that you can you can have focused direct instruction. I mean, management is that's a lot of effort at that age, right? And the more efficient it can be, the more instruction. So there's huge huge potential here, right? But this certainly requires a well-articulated understanding of what transitions are in the context of the study, right? And again, same time, keeping that tone of relevancy and urgency. Um, and I have um, a bridge this paragraph in the middle a little bit, uh, just just for the sake of, of keeping um, ba balanced balanced time and balanced size quote relative to the others. Um, much of a student's day at school is. Con is consistent of transitioning between different activities. Transitions can be between classrooms, subject, teachers, and activities. These transitions can either be de detrimental or proactive for the students. It's essential that students are properly and timely making transitions in order for them to not disturb their learning opportunities. Um, Hi, and Ardoin, Ar Ar Ardoin, Ardoin, uh, Ardoin and Foster, 2015. Transitions are important because it allows students new learning, op new learning experiences, build responsibilities, and have breaks between activities. Students are also involved in being physically active throughout the day by transitioning from one activity to the next. Physical activity in a child's life is essential because it can improve bone strength, gain muscle, improve academics, enrich psychological health, and decrease the development of diabetes and high blood pressure. Adkins, Bice, Barte, and Heal in 2015. And again, that is from... Tucker 2019 page three, so that's a that's a, that's an enriched um, a build of, of 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 our understanding right of of what what transitions are why they're important and how they actually have downstream benefit right and I like I like adding in that that physical activity adds this this extra relevance and urgency in my opinion that it's not it's not just about efficiency and and teaching pedagogy, but there are there are further dividends in payoff, right? And so, if there are dividends in in the, in the payoff of understanding this this issue better, why not research it, right? So, um, great examples, great to see. I hope you've hope you've enjoyed um, uh, sharing those. Um, so, section two. This is one that can always be revised, adjusted, edited, expanded, upgraded as you move through further in the direction of your action research uh, poster. Truth be told, I kind of hope that you dig up something further that really intrigues you even more than something that you've already found or, or it, you feel it makes, makes your understanding your study better because that's the natural progression of inquiry, right? That's what happens. Don't hesitate to reach out with the email, the request for an office phone chat with questions about um, your, your literature selections, even, even, if, even if they're still churning with you sometimes a week two weeks later something will bother you from the literature it happens um, or even just if you found something interesting I love talking about journal articles um, so I've hoped you've enjoyed the second glance at, at a few more classmates I'll keep these coming the next shout out video of course will feature highlights from your methodology in the meantime once again be reaching out by your A-State email with your thoughts and questions your ahas let's get through those road bumps wolves up again we'll see you in the next module